Hi everyone and welcome back for today's video. This originally was a video that I have filmed in German for the Swiss art vendor FleuriArt, which I am cooperating with, and I just had to show you. The result was so unexpected that I thought I really need to show you guys. And as a small get to know Fleury Art, I'm going to put a small sequence into this video that I filmed for one of their videos. So you can get to know the Fleury Art products, the brand, how they look like, how their paints look, and how they look when they are mixed. Also, you can see their Fleury pouring medium. So, yeah, I thought this was a cool idea. <laughs> I got a request to use as many colors as possible in the event. So of course I could not use all the colors that they provide. And for those of you who are probably watching a video living in Switzerland, this is an art vendor you really have to check out. I will put their links in the description down below. So if you are in Switzerland and this is the only country they are actually shipping to, have a look at them. I love their products, the people are great. I really recommend it. And the paint mixture that I'm going to use here is made of their acrylic paints, of course, their Fleury Art pouring medium and a dash of Flotril. So this is basically everything. A bit of water here and there if needed, but that's pretty much everything. There is no silicone whatsoever in there. So I picked a bunch of colors that I had pre-mixed originally and filled them in a couple of smaller cups. And in this point of the video, please don't wonder if my hands are doing funky stuff, because originally it was spoken in German, so I just revoiced it, and so it, it doesn't really make sense what my hands are showing, probably. So, <laughs> but from the colors that you can see on the canvas here, we are going with purple, it's magenta, it's rose metallic, phthalo blue, metallic turquoise, it's a zap green, yellow, gold, copper, deep red, black, brown, Naples yellow, cream, and burnt sienna. So a really, really fancy mixture, right? <laughs> and for those of you who no longer already know that I would never use so many different colors in one pour, just due to the fact that they might intermix, make ugly colors, just imagine what could happen if the black meets the yellow. <laughs> so I really am not as bold, usually. And having that in mind, I really did not expect a cool outcome, to be honest. But stay with me. Therefore, I picked a canvas that I've used over and over again. So this canvas was probably reused five or six times. It was acrylic pour. I did some resin stuff over it. I poured over it again, put some resin over it. I really cannot remember the order and what I did with it. But whenever I'm not satisfied with a pour or a resin work, a project whatsoever, I try to recycle it as often as I can. This was basically my experimentation canvas. And this is something I would recommend you doing as well. So there's always something you can do with a gone wrong pour. Probably use it for a resin artwork or something like that. Or pour over it, put some gesso over it if, if it's enough and then you can pour over it again. So just don't waste a canvas which you can reuse for another project. I usually collect them all. <laughs> but let's come back to this project here. As the colors basically were decided what to use, I put them into my super fancy, pretty much dirty <laughs> pouring cup. I've also reused this over and over again and I always let the, the paint on the bottom dry and so it looks as it looks. But it's still perfectly fine. And as you can see in the video, I more or less just layered all the colors over each other in the pouring jar. And once this was done, I slowly poured them over the canvas.
I did know that there is a lot of paint and I expected kind of a good amount of drip off, but that was fine for the project. So it was for the sake of the project itself. Let's let's say it this way. <laughs> but I must say I was pretty excited about the outcome out of my pouring cup. And I could really see some beauty in there, which I did not expect. Really, I did not. So shifting everything around on the canvas, and I will let you watch in a second with me being silent, no worries. <laughs> I really had a good time doing this, and I, I saw a couple of great shapes and designs that I probably could have stopped in between or put something over on the edges even more and I wished actually canvas was double the size to keep more of the paint on and to make more of the design visible that the potential was there. So I really enjoyed this color palette which I didn't expect in the beginning. And of course as usual I'm going to show you the red version result in the end of the pour and also the mind-blowing dried version in sunlight. No matter what, although you have not seen the end result yet, probably, I can say that this canvas finally has found its destiny. So this is no experimentation canvas anymore. It is a keep for sure. I love the result. And it is one kind of a beauty result that is going to get a resin or a top coat cover. So I probably will do this in a second video and show you the top coat resining process again for those who wonder or want to see it again. We will see. But so far talking for this video, I hope every one of you is fine, healthy and everything around in your family is okay as well. Leave me a like and subscribe if you liked the video, a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a look at my other playlist if you want to see more of the pourings, resin, abstract work or even realism. I have some oil painting and drawing videos as well. So have a look around, come back for the next video and so far, thank you for your time, <laughs> thank you for watching and see you in the next video. <laughs> have a great day, bye bye. Thank you.